This traditional Durban cultural festival, popularly called Hawan Bariki or Hawan Sarki, is the celebration of the people and their cultural heritage in the Katsina state. An event that occurs twice a year and attracts crowds from within and outside Katsina. A parade of attired horse riders and their contingent making their way out of the Katsina Emirates House. They will pass through the city center and finally stop at the old government house. The essence is to pay homage to the governor of the state. Beside the richly attired emir and his district heads, there are also warriors, hunters and well-armed persons showing up their skills. Historians trace the beginning of the long tradition to 1906 during the reign of the then emir of Katsina, King Muhammadu Diko. From 1906, when the colonialists were here, the, they would go and attend the Salah celebration. And the following day, the emir will lead his own emirate council and district heads to come and pay homage to the then colonial masters, later our political heads, and now that is what it has been. It's a dual-purpose occasion aimed at promoting peace and unity among people. It has been a while that we have not celebrated because of the COVID-19 and insecurity issues uh, dividing our nation. But we thank God now there is peace in Katsina and then there is no COVID. Although culture takes center stage of the festival, the state governments and the Emirates sees the moment to speak on some of the priority areas which will be given attention to in the coming months. I beg us in the name of Allah and his messenger to take charge of our responsibilities and understand that it's time for us to stop beating our chest over the number of children one produces. Because they can't enter your farm and work for you. Rather, embrace birth control mechanism as producing one good child is better than producing bad eggs. We must facilitate our prayers acceptance with actions. Give our zakat to the needy, the poor, the destitute, and then the disabled persons, as at Wengu, to avoid attracting God's anger. This festival has as well become a tourist market and by extension boosts socio-economic activities of the state.